Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out two new palettes and they are from Violet Boss. I have the Flamingo Eyeshadow Palette and the Glamingo Face Palette. I also got these in a bundle that was like a pre-order. So I got both these palettes and then something else. It's really cute. So the bundle also came with this towel, which is absolutely adorable so it's like a huge donut beach towel if you want to see my thoughts on these palettes then just keep watching so the first one i'm going to grab is the glamingo face palette so we've got what looks like to be two blushes three highlights and a bronzer so blushes here obviously this is going to be a little bit more wearable for me you've got these highlights this is definitely a me type of color this one's probably going to be a little dark, and this one definitely is dark for me as well. And then you have a bronzer. The first thing I want to do is try out the bronzer. It's called Bronze Goddess. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with my forehead. I always do a lot of bronzing in the forehead area. You can see why. I am going to like bronze tour today too, because in the summertime I will do that. In the wintertime I like something a little bit cooler, but for the summer months I don't mind a bronzy contour. I'm really liking this. It's definitely more warm and bronzy, but I actually really like it. It's blending really nicely and it's not looking too dark or too orange. I'm going to hit the jawline. I always kind of like to do the chin as well. And I'm going to kind of go around the temple area so that that has a nice place to meet with that contour. I'm going to take a little bit more precise brush. This is a Sephora collection one and I'm going to lightly dip into that bronze and kind of sculpt those cheekbones. Make the contour face. Or is that just me? <laughs> oh girl went heavy. So I'm going to like clean that brush off. I'm using my color switch religiously so if you guys are wondering like what I'm doing I clean that off and then I'm going to go back in and blend. I'm actually going to dip into a little bit of both. So I'm going to mix together Flamingo and Sweet Cheeks and create a nice little color for my cheeks. I don't wear super strong blush, so I'm kind of tapping that off. It's really pretty. I love when blushes have like a really pretty sheer flush of color because you can always build it. I always kind of like that little bit of reddish blush. Is that weird? It's definitely not like a go-to for fair skin like mine but I would actually love to see that on deeper skin too because it's got a pretty reddish color and I'm gonna take sweet cheeks alone and kind of go not really on the apples but just behind the apples of my cheeks so I do want to swatch these so you guys can see Ooh, so you've got white sand Paradise and fake and bake. Look at that. That's a gorgeous highlight for really deep skin tones for universal I think this is pretty good because you get a nice range So what I'm gonna do is take my trusty Mac 133 and I'm going to mix white sand and paradise And I've been loving to blend my highlight down just a little touch on the apple of the cheek So she's kind of soft at first, which I don't mind because I can build it up again Just like with the blush it's a very buttery, like creamy powder highlight. I'm using more Paradise than I expected, but it's giving a little bit less of a white and a little bit more of a bronzy, which I am kind of enjoying. If I use just straight white sands, it's just like a little too white white. You can definitely customize a cheek color. Now I'm gonna take this Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder and I'm gonna dust over that. And it will really create a more light color from within type of vibe and soften it up. And I'm just gonna do on both sides. And I'm even gonna do that like where my bronzer's blending in. Yes, okay. I'm more in love with this because it's like looks like effortless summertime easy look instead of like bam in your face. So now I'm going to go back in with the highlight and I'm going to highlight my nose. So that's nice and highlighted. I am going to dip in with an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take just a touch of a bronze goddess. And to make sure that it's not too strong, I'm taking that Sephora brush and adding no product. And I'm just sweeping towards the front of the nose and that's keeping that little contour just right in the front and not blended backwards so it looks just nice it looks soft but definitely a little snatched 
Okay, um, I love this palette. I think I'm going to use it a lot. I love like the bronzy look of it. And I mean, you guys be the judge. I think it's gorgeous. So let me know what you think. And now I'm going to go on to eyes. So we went to Glamingo to Flamingo. No, I'm just kidding. It's Flamingo palette. And this is the eyeshadow. So let's take a look at this gorgeous mixture of colors. Could you want anything more for the summer? I think it's absolutely perfect. The first thing I am going to do though is pick up sand. That's a good move no matter what I'm doing. And I'm going to just kind of cover my eyelids with a little bit of that before I add any other colors. And this is a very just soft light layer to make blending a little easier, but it's very soft. I'm not packing on shadow here. I'm just like lightly placing it and blending out and that's it. Now I'm like, what do I jump into? Okay, I think I'm gonna jump into Lemonade, which is this yellow color here. This one is a matte. And then that ocean front right above it is screaming to me too. And I'm going to do kind of like a transition with this. I'm gonna intensify it just a little bit and focus more on, not right below the brow, but a little farther down. And I'm gonna switch over and go to the Morphe E17 brush. This is one of my absolute favorite brushes for the crease area. And this one is really, really beat up. I need to buy a couple more of these because I'm always using this brush and it is definitely a staple. So E17 is a favorite of mine. And now I'm going to take the shade Coral, which is this like pinkish shade right here. And I'm going to go into the crease. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of pack the color just pounce it in. I like it to be a little bit more pigmented considering that there's a little bit more fallout, but it's not bad. I'm not bashing it in any way because I'm still working with it. So that created almost like a little orangish fade there. It's soft, but I like it. I'm cleaning that one off in my color switch and I'm I'm so torn like what to pick because there's so many pretty options but I think I'm going to take the shade Beach Ball which is this like a blue green I love it it's bright and vibrant so I'm hoping for some good pigmentation I kind of just tap the brush in a few times I'm hoping you can see the color on it um, it's not showing up incredibly well so I'm going to place that in the outer third of my eyelid well she got some pigment she's trying to show up So I'm going to go ahead and add the color over here and then I'm going to use a different brush to blend. It's so hard not to use more colors, honestly. For me it is anyway. But I'm trying to keep it wearable. I, I like put like dots of color everywhere and wear it but you know not everybody is cuckoo like me. I've got the color at place so I'm taking this just really clean brush. This is by Kala, Kala, I never know. Um, I just found these at TJ Maxx, but it's a good little like just blendy brush. So I'm just softly blending, let you guys see what we're working with. So it's a little softer than I'd like. So I'm gonna add a touch more color. We're gonna pack again. So now I'm going to just cut like half of the crease, just to add a little bit of definition to that area. And I'm using the Long Comb Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. This one has just been a go-to for me. It's a really good long wear formula. And I find that shadows kind of just adhere to it well and it doesn't crease bad. So that's just like why I'm using this one. So I'm gonna start with just one eye. This way I'm gonna take seashell, which is this light pink down here. I'm gonna start with a flat synthetic brush and I'm going to try it dry. I'm gonna place it right in the inner corner. It's got a really pretty shift when I start building it up. Now I'm gonna take that shade Flip Flops right here, which looks like a little duochrome. I'm going to fill in this little empty section here. I want it to really pop, so I'm actually gonna wet this brush with this Smashbox primer water. I wrung out any like excess water in the brush, so I'm diving into that second shade flip flops again, and we are going to try it wet and see what kind of 
color payout we can get. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I'm being careful here because I've got this matte shadow. Sometimes they don't agree when you do stuff like that. Um, but I am going to quickly grab a little brush and dip into that beach ball, which is that aqua blue color, and kind of feather the edge there. So I went ahead and just did the same to the other eye, and I think it turned out really, really pretty. Almost has like a little mermaid-ish vibe there, not the intention. And now I'm going to take Ocean Front, which is this light aqua blue, and I'm going to take a tiny brush, swirl in that, and I'm going to go under my lower lash line. That one's really nicely pigmented, and it's sometimes crazy with light shades like that. They really won't be that pigmented a lot of the time. Nice that one just doesn't look pretty in the pan, but actually looks gorgeous on one. And I'm going to take just a little bit of beach ball on that same brush, tapping off the excess. And I'm going to go like tighter into that lower lash line and more on the outer edge. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and go in with the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. To top it off, I actually picked up a Violet Boss Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Paisley. This is more of like a pinkish brown so i think it'll just be a nice neutral for what my eye looks like maybe not we'll see i've not tried this one on so i could be wrong i was a little afraid that it was looking more brown than what it looked like in the picture but it's actually really pretty i really like this dope applicator it's a very triangular and it's got that little divot in the middle it's really nice to get into those corners and kind of smooth out the lip line lip line so I like that color a lot. The last thing I'm going to do is pop it with just a little bit of a shadow. So I think I'm going to use that first shade seashell that I used in my inner corner. I think that's really pretty. It just adds like a little something extra. So that's my look using the new Violet Voss palettes. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it and I do think I will be getting a lot of use out of both these palettes. Let me know what you think about the looks that I created today and if you'd like to see another look using the palette. I know there's so many color combinations and just let me know. I can also do that in like an Instagram video if you want to see it there just with some other things. And yeah, I just appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you like these type of videos and also make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!